Hey guys, I'm George from Songbirds TV and today we have a very special episode because Chris from BirdNerd is here and he is going to share with us some awesome tips on how to help our birds molt better. So Chris, you can take it from here and you guys don't forget to check out his channel. His videos are awesome. What is up bird nerds? We got uh, Chris here. This is uh, Lemonade. She's probably gonna go through and make sure my gel is still good and I don't have any bugs in my hair. She likes to do that. We're gonna do a quick video today in compilation with Songbirds TV. So it's a long waited overdue video that we've been trying to share back and forth. Things have coming up, uh, but now we're finally able to make it happen. And uh, we're just gonna share a couple tips on some molting birds and what we can do to help our birds molt better. All right, guys, like I said, we are going to do a video and just, just a really quick video. We're going to give you some simple tips on helping your birds molt. As you can see right now, so here in Utah, it's a uh, pretty cold weather right now. We're middle of January and um, the weather's cold outside. I've been able to keep my heaters inside to help my birds um, stay a little bit warm. But you can see all my goldians are molting. I got molt, molting there. I got a hen. Oh, she just flew up there. She's in a heavy molt. I have all my other females that are up here. They're trying to uh, stay close to the males. A lot of them are, have, are still kind of paired off from last year. Um, but you can see a lot of them are molting their beaks are not black um, i have a couple that other beaks are black but they're not they're st they're actually still molting so um my goldian finches are molting look out there and all of my uh all my canaries are outside hop back in there let me... there she goes she's gonna hop in there we'll come over here show you our bachelor pad of, of goldian finches you can see that they're molting as well so we've got them up there and then we also have some more of my male goldians right there. You can see they look a little rough, right? So that's okay that they look rough um, because they're in the middle of their molt. And all of my canaries actually are molting right now as well. So I've brought all my birds in for the winter. They're all out in the aviary. Um, they don't, they're just, they just get the same amount of light as what the sun would give us every day. So, you know, it's less than eight hours of sunlight a day currently. And now as the, as the year goes on, they'll get a little bit more light. So a couple of my tips that I want to give to you guys in helping your Goldian finches molt better in helping your canary finches molt better in helping your zebra finches molting better, really whatever finch you have, these molting tips, they're basic, they're simple. Come here. They're simple and they will help you guys and help your birds to have a successful molt, okay? So. I wish some of my canaries would come in so you guys could see them. Um, but the number one tip that I'm gonna give for you guys is to allow your birds to bathe. So you can see I'm, I'm actually cleaning today so I'm it's a little dirty, I apologize for the mess, but you guys can see there that I have water all over and my birds just bathe. I just gave them fresh water. So I usually give them fresh water, I let them bathe, and then I swap the water out again. Sorry, lemonade's tail keeps going in the way. Um, because all of my birds are molting, they bathe like crazy. And that's a good thing because it helps them bring in new feathers. It helps those old feathers to get out. The birds are all itchy because they're losing feathers and all of that. So, um, number one rule, provide, sorry, lemonade, get your tail out of the way. Provide bathing water for all of your finches. It doesn't matter if it's Goldian finches, doesn't matter if it's shaft tail finches, doesn't matter if it's society finches, all of them molt and all of them need that bathing water to help those new feathers come in, okay? Now, let me put lemonade back up in here because she'll just keep flying out on here on me. And we'll come over and let you get some views of these guys. Come back over here to the bachelor pad here. Okay, number two tip that I'm gonna give you guys to help your birds with 
a happy, healthy malt is, let me zoom in on it down here, egg food. So we have a dish right there. We've got their egg food all in there. The bird's over here. You can actually see my society finch. He's eating the egg food right now, okay? Egg food is really important. Gives your birds the nutrients that they need to be able to molt appropriately and get the nutrients for those new feathers that come in. You see those two goldians there on the left. They're going through a pretty rough molt right now. They look kind of ugly, let's be honest. Um, but once those new feathers come in, they'll look nice and pretty, kind of more like the two on the other, the two males on the right. Those males on the right, they're starting to finish their molts, okay? So that's what they look like during the molt. That's what they look like once the molt is coming to an end. Likewise up here, we've got several that are kind of in and out of the molt. You can see my yellow back there in the middle. He's in the middle of molting his, his head feathers. So egg food is important. And you guys can come back. I, I'm gonna be posting a video this week on how to make egg food. So jump over to my website or my channel and subscribe. Get some good videos there. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed to Songbirds yet, please subscribe to him as well. He's got some great video content on there and has done a great job with his birds and his videos. So again, the best two tips to help your birds molt. Number one, give them bathing water so they can bathe every single day. Number two, give them egg food so that they can eat and give their body the nourishment and nutrition that they need. Okay. Third tip that I'm going to give you guys is something that's really important. We're going to come over here and show you these because that's probably our best option here. So we do have calcium plus. Third tip to do for your birds to give them a healthy molt is give them and provide them as much calcium as you possibly can. So I have it in liquid form. We also have it, you can see all the way over there and I need to get them a new one because they've eaten it. Um, that is their cuddle bone that I put out here for them for them to eat. So calcium is important for the molt. Make sure that you have that provided for them so that they can kick in those new feathers and not deplete all of their calcium reserves. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Jump over, subscribe to my channel bird nerd on youtube also subscribe to songbirds tv's channel as well appreciate you guys appreciate your support and we will see you later